The race to the moon just got a little more intense. America has some major competition brewing on the other side of the world. China is right behind. It is absolutely true that, that they are progressing very quickly. Beijing is breathing down America's neck, looking for every opportunity to steal our nation's technology. Space will eventually be weaponized, and certainly our adversaries uh, know that, and they want to beat us to it. We're in a space race today, just as we were in the 1960s. And the stakes are even higher. China now has plans to take over the moon. China's first space station, now spinning out of control, headed straight for us. The U.S. barred Chinese astronauts from entering the International Space Station. China is doing it solo. One thing is certain. China is a force to be reckoned with in the current space race. With a $24 billion budget and dozens of active high-profile missions, it's not surprising that NASA is the most visible of the dozens of government space agencies in the world. But China's space program is rapidly developing superpower that, due to political tensions, doesn't often get its fair share of attention. With the Tiangong station's completion, the country has a long-term platform in orbit. The new mission is part of a flurry of activity in China's space program that has also included the return of soil samples from the moon and the landing of a robotic rover on Mars. The International Space Station won't run much longer. The ISS, operated by the United States, the European Space Agency, Russia and other partners, could be retired as soon as 2030. If the station is decommissioned, China could be the only game in town for some time. What US and its allies, including Europe, Canada and Japan and Russia, took decades ago to accomplish, China has achieved this alone. Reports have stated it took only one and a half years to build a Tiangong station. And unlike the ISS, which continually depends on the cooperation and support of its partners, China doesn't depend on other nation space agencies and companies. And it's clear NASA won't be one of those partners either. The agency is prohibited from collaborating by what's commonly called the Wolf Amendment, which Congress passed in 2011. It prevents U.S. agencies from working with Chinese companies and agencies due to perceived national security concerns. ISS has welcomed aboard astronauts from 15 different countries, including such space newbies as South Africa, Brazil, the Netherlands, and Malaysia. But China? Uh-uh. Never happened and never gonna happen. So what does China do? They build their own. 建设空间战是中国航天事业的一个重要的里程碑 It is very clear that China's investment in space is about turning China into an aerospace power. One major reason for China's success in space is the huge government investment. The basic construction of China's space station is complete. Tiangong, which translates to heavenly sky or palace in the sky, a platform is designed primarily to facilitate scientific research and able to house three astronauts for long-term missions and three more for shorter periods. The launch, the core module, Tiani, launched in April 2021 and the first astronauts arrived that June. Long March 
5B Y2 rocket blasting off from China's coastal launch site in southern Henan province, Wenchang, on April 29, 2021, when the Tiandi core module was successfully launched into orbit. The event marked the start of the construction of the three-module T-shaped Tiangon space station, followed by six successful launch missions including the Wenqian and the Mangtian lab modules and two Tianzhou cargo spacecrafts and two Shenzhou manned spacecrafts. The Shenzhou 14 crew are the first Taikonauts to enter the Wentian space lab module. With Liu Yang saying she had been looking forward to this moment with all her heart. The Wentian lab module was launched from South China's Hainan province on Sunday and docked with the Tianhe call module in the early hours of Monday morning. Here it is that the new shape China Space Station Assembly has taken with Wentian being a part of it and it will keep this straight line look for a while. Wentian's arrival means China's space station construction is moving forward. Wentian is a major component of the China Space Station. It is the first module in the assembly stage. Wentian provides the astronauts more space to live and work and is the full backup to the space station's system and key functions. With its launch, the station can be in operation for a minimum of 10 years and is more reliable and safer. The Wentian mission has been key. The Mengtian Lab module has just joined the Tianhe core module and the Wentian Lab module at China Space Station. The three modules will form a T-shaped complex at the space station. Mengtian, the 18-meter lab module, enables a range of scientific experiments and now allows the station to accommodate up to six people at a time. This is Mengtian Lab module, which they entered for the first time on November 3rd among the scientific and basic living equipment, the astronauts have also set up a small home gym to help them stay fit. A special microgravity resistant exercise device similar to a rowing machine will be used to maintain healthier physique in zero gravity conditions, which can rapidly reduce muscle mass and bone density. The module is equipped with 13 payload cabinets, eight of which are scientific experiment cabinets, mainly for microgravity scientific research. The three astronauts aboard the space station Tiangong welcomed special guests, the visiting cargo spacecraft Tianzhou 5. This cargo spacecraft conducted the fastest ever automated rendezvous and docking with China Space Station is merely two hours, marking a breakthrough enhancing the emergency supply capability and the rescue ability for the space station, setting a world record. In the beginning, the rendezvous and docking would take two or three days, and then the time was reduced to 6.5 hours. This is the first time that a cargo craft has docked with the Chinese space station in its T-shaped configuration which weighs about 80 tons, verifying that the Tianzhu-5 adaptability to dock at a large tonnage target. The completion of the Tiangong shows that China is no longer a rising player in space. It's now one of a few powers. also plans to launch its first flagship telescope, Xuntian, which means survey the heavens in 2023. It's a space-based optical observatory for astronomers to carry out celestial surveys and to capture maps and images. Its operations will begin in 2024. The country's space program will enter a new decade-long development and application stage. The initial plan is to send two crew and two cargo craft into space every year. Meanwhile, astronauts will stay in orbit for extended periods to maintain the space station and carry out scientific and technological experiments. 
China will also develop next-generation carrier rockets and crewed spaceships in order to significantly enhance its space program's overall technological capabilities. China has expressed on many occasions that it welcomes international cooperation and foreign astronauts to conduct research aboard its space station.